Hello everyone, this is Kami and welcome back to InDesign CC for Beginners. Today we're going to continue our talk about text formatting and we're going to insert some color into our text and see how we can do that and learn one special tool for copying text attributes easily. We have discussed the options that we have here in the character panel which replicate here in the control panel. Now if we look at the tools that we have here in the control panel we see some that we haven't yet explained. For example, let's get inside our text frame, double click if we remember, and let's select a part of the text, for example the title. Now if we go here we see that this particular tool uh, relates to the color of the text. We click on the arrow and as we can see we have here other colors that we can use. For example, let's switch the, the title from red to green. This particular uh, tools here, some of them are familiar to us from Microsoft Word and others are new and very interesting. For example, this one relates to superscript and this one to subscript, we know, already know that. This one is the underline tool, underlines the text, the strike through tool, we also know that one. And here we have the all caps tool, this is a very interesting tool and if we click on it we see that our title is now written in full caps. If we press that all caps button once again it reverts back to its original state. Let's select it once again to check out this other tool called small caps. We click it and as we can see now the text is in caps but we have the first letter of each word are large caps and the other ones are small caps. Selecting the text once again we revert the title to its original style. Here more, on, more to the right we see that we have the alignment tools. This one, uh, obviously, my text is aligned to the left, so let's center the title. So we have all these extra tools apart from what we know from Word, which is align left, align right, uh, align center, and justify. Right? We have a few more very interesting tools which you can uh, explore on your own. Let's make the words in this particular paragraph a little closer together. And this one, this paragraph, let's bring the lines just a little bit closer together. What we're going to do next is zoom in, if we remember that. One of the ways in which we can zoom in is by pressing Alt and scrolling up. And we're going to use this tool that is called the eyedropper tool. So we click on it and what we do is bring our cursor closer to a particular word. We need to zoom in particularly because we have to make sure that what we are selecting is a word, not a blank space. We click and as we can see our cursor has tilted to the left and what we have done now is that we have copied the characteristics of the text that we have clicked on and what we're going to do now is zoom out, alt and scroll down, move to another piece of text, say for example this black text over here and select it by dragging our cursor over it, like for example the entire text. When we release it, what we see is that the characteristics from the text that we have clicked on have been transferred to this other text that we have now selected. So the eyedropper tool is very useful when we want to copy characteristics of a test text to a larger text fast and easy. We can do the same, for example, by selecting the title this time as a source text and transfer not only the color and the size and the font type but also the position for example if we now click on the selection tool click once again on the eyedropper zoom in click on the title this time zoom out and say select this text as we can see, this text is not only green and with a different font, but also centered, because our title was originally centered. Now I'm gonna let you play with this tool, have fun with it, select and modify and format your source text, then transfer its attributes to other parts of text. Also check out the previous chapters of this course if you haven't done so already, stay tuned for the new ones, and see you next time.